the Toy Reviewer! Hi, Brittany the Toy Reviewer here, and today we're going to be looking at the 3D at Animal Creator. This is a 3D molding studio, and I am super excited to take a look at it. Now, this set is only found at Toys R Us, so let's take a closer look at the box. With this set, we can make thousands of animal combinations. Right here, it says that we can mold, create, and personalize. This toy is made by Jack Pacific. Here is the back of the box. So let's go ahead and open up the box. So the first thing that we get in the box is the 3D Molding Studio. Next, we have 12 accessory pieces. We have four sets of animal skeletons. One mold form. One power cord. We have four sets of decal stickers. Three wax sticks. And then of course we also have our instructions. The first thing that we're going to want to do is plug the power cord into the 3D Molding Studio and then into our electrical outlet. So let's go ahead and take this part of the plug and place it right here. And I'm going to go ahead and plug this into an outlet. When I plugged it in, this little light right here came on. Next we're going to rotate the molding handle upward over the 3D Molding Studio. Next, we're going to open one bag of our skeleton pieces. And we're going to have six pieces. Next, we are going to take the mold base and we're going to open it up. We're also going to want to remove this ring right here. Now, we're going to be putting this into the light green side, not the clear side. So let's go ahead and take our legs and place them in the slots. Now we're going to place in the torso. Now the head. Now we're going to place the plastic piece back on top. And we're going to clamp these pieces back on the side. Next, we're going to flip it over and place the ring back on like that. And then we're just going to slide it to the side. And it does have an arrow on it that says close and open. Okay, so when I first plugged it in, this button right here was red. And I guess it turned green and it started the molding process. Um, so it started heating up, but there wasn't anything in there. So now I've got to wait for this arrow to go from close to open, which could take about 15 minutes. So our arrow is now pointing to open. So what we're going to do is we're just going to open it up. Now we're going to face it with the clear side facing us. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the arrow. So you see that arrow right here means that it's going to be pointing up. So we're going to slide it in like this with the arrow still pointing up. Like that. Then we are going to close the door. Just like that. Now what's really interesting about this is that we can actually turn this in three different spots. So right now we would be filling the head and that leg and when we turn it, we'll fill these two legs. When we turn it again, we'll fill the abdomen and another leg. So whenever we turn it, we'll be able to fill a new section. So let's go ahead and get our wax and put it inside. Alright, so when you get this, the blue wax stick is already inserted inside. So let's go ahead and turn on the on button like that and now it's red. So we're going to wait till it turns green and it will be ready and heated up. So it is very important to make sure that you have a wax stick inside of the modeling studio before you start it. Then once you turn it on, it will lock. So what we're going to do is we are going to wait 10 minutes for this red light to turn green. 
All right, so while we wait, let's go ahead and try the 3D it app. Now, this is a free app that you can get in the Play Store. So let's go ahead. It says we can watch a video. Let's not watch that. And it says that we can set the timer. Now, I've clicked this before, and it seems like the timer is a little messed up. But that would be really cool if we could set the timer so that we know when our thing is heated and when it's done um, without having to look at the light. So right here it says we can make a character. So let's create. So let's go ahead and click on the elephant because that's the one we're about to make. Click his head, his ears, let's see, arms. Click on his tail or his back legs. So that's really cool. We can click on them. And then if we hit this button, he slides down a big slide into our little field that we have right here. So let's make another one so he has a friend. So we're also going to be making the cow. Let's make another one. So we're also going to be making the zebra. Let's make another one. And we're going to also be making this horse. So that's really cool. So let's go back to the home. And then if we want to go back there and see our animals playing around in the field, we can click the world button. And it'll bring us back here. So let's see what else we can try. So let's try the collection. Now, if you click collection, you can email this picture to yourself and then you can print it off yourself. And it basically is just like a poster of all the different animals that you can collect. So let's go back home. And then let's see, experience. So let's try this. Oh, it's showing our camera. And it's popping out one of our little animals here. So that's really cool. Let's see if we click on her. Aww. And we can pretend like we're touching her. <laughs> that's so cute. So that's really cool. And we can even take a picture. So that's cool. So let's see what else we can do. It says we have product gallery. And it shows the different products that we can get. So here is the molding studio that we have. And also get this expansion pack right here. Another refill pack. This one, which does nine different characters in a refill pack. So that's really cool. And then let's see what else we have. I think the rest is just like tutorials and about. And that's about it. So that is really cool. So I think our creator is now ready to start. So let's go ahead and take a look. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this handle and we're going to pull it down for two to three seconds to fill up our cavity down here. So let's just go ahead and take a look at it as it fills. And again, I'm just pulling this handle down. So let's go ahead and watch and see what happens. All right, so I'm about to pull the handle down in three seconds. One, two, three, go. And we're just going to pull it down for two to three seconds. I'm not seeing anything happening yet. Oh, uh, nothing seems to be happening. So let's try it again. Hmm. My light actually turned red. Okay, let's try it again. I'm starting to see a little bit of blue. One, two, three. Let's see, you can kind of see a little bit of the blue right here. So let's just pull it down. Let's see what happens. There's like a little bit of blue coming out. 
but our light is red and I'm not sure why so give me a second I'm gonna look and see what it is that I need to do okay so what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try and turn it try to fill this one let's go ahead and start one two three and again nothing seems to be coming out and I'm holding it down pretty far but again my light turned red and I'm not quite sure why so let me go ahead and try something else okay so what I had to do is I actually had to push down the wax a little bit more um, because it came preloaded with a bar of wax so I thought it was already placed and everything like that but I just poked it down a little bit so let's go ahead and try it again because the light is green now one two oh there it goes and three it just says to fill it up okay so that looks good I don't want it to overflow so let's turn it all right so let's press it down Okay, it hasn't filled up all the way. Let's see, press it down again. Hmm. Kind of stopped halfway through. Let's try it again. Okay, I'm going to stop this one and try back at this one here. Nothing. Let's try this one. And nothing seems to be happening again so let me go ahead and check and see what I need to do all right so my light actually turned red so I'm a little bit worried because I don't want the wax to dry so hopefully it's still warm enough for the other wax to come in um, but the light turned red I think again that the wax I think it got kind of messed up because the wax wasn't all the way down there when it preheated um, so I'm not really sure what to do if I should try waiting until it cools off, opening it up, and then doing it that way. So that might be what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it cool down and open up and take out that little bit of wax, I think. And then we will go ahead and see what to do after that. So I'm just going to turn it off. And again, it's going to be locked, and then I'll come back and take a look. Because um, there wasn't a lot of wax in there, but I'm worried it's going to harden, and the wax isn't going to be able to flow through the whole thing. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'll be right back when it's cooled off, and we'll try it again. Alright, so I have taken off those little pieces that didn't quite go down, and I'm just going to go ahead and pull the lever again. Alright, so basically, every time I try to do it um, with the blue, and it just kept breaking, um, this leg is looks pretty good. Um, the head isn't so good so I'm gonna try the elephant again later I've got all my little blue scrap pieces that I've kind of pulled off in this little bowl right here so when I'm done with the other ones I'm gonna take the blue out and try to remelt them so I'll show you how to do that but when I ran out of blue and the, the I had to use pink so I went ahead and tried to make a pink one now my pink one has a little bit of kind of a bluish uh, marble texture to it um, you can see just like a little bit of blue but mostly they're pink they came out really well it only took me like one try and all of them came out perfect so these ones look really good so I'm about to make my second one that's actually hopefully gonna work and all I gotta do is just put my pieces back in the mold so here is a leg here is a leg another leg the torso and another leg so all of my pieces are in here now then I'm just gonna put on the clear piece and match it up okay so you can see all my pieces in there now I'm just going to snap these down, place this little gear piece, and tighten it. And then we're going to look for the arrow, just pointing up, 
I'm just going to place it like this with the arrow pointing up and place it in here and then I'm going to close it and then we're going to turn it back on so it's going to have to heat back up. Um, one of the things about it though is that I ended up having to put some black in there so I've got the rest of my pink and I've got black on top of it so my next one because for some reason it wasn't registering that there was any of the wax in there so I had to put another one in there to kind of get it to actually go down because this thing has actually gotten full of a lot of little crumb pieces in there um, so basically what I'm gonna be doing is I might get a little bit of the black from the black wax piece and it might come out Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully this fills up with pink because I just need a pink one. Um, and then we'll start with black on the next one. And then at the very end I will go back to blue with my little scrap pieces that I have right here. I'm going to sort out all the little blue bits. And then I'm going to stick them back inside of here and melt them again. So right now I'm just going to let this heat up and then we'll be right back. Alright, so while we wait for the next one to heat up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this pink animal together. So I'm going to take the head right here and we are going to place it like this, like that. And then we are going to put in one of the feet right here, okay, see like that. Okay, then another one, and they all only go in one direction, so we want to make sure that the toes are pointing the right way. Okay. Alright, so here is our character all put together like that, and the feet can move. So that's really cool and the head can turn. So what we're going to do now is we are going to decide which animal this is going to be. So I can make this one either, well I can make them any of them, but I want to make this one either the cow or the horse. So I'm going to do the horse first. So here is the hair for the horse. We're just going to press it on like that. And then we have the tail right here. So I think, let's see how we're going to do this. Let's put on the tail first. I think it goes like this and then we have the hair. I believe we'll go on like that. That looks about right. So then we have our stickers and these are the pony stickers. So let's take the face one here. And I'm going to take the hair off real quick so I can see. And we're going to stick the face on like that. And then, oops, her little tail came off. We'll just set that aside. Pull the hair around the side like that. And like that. And then this side has like some... It says 2015 Jack, so I'm going to put this side down first so that we can cover that up. Like that. Okay, so that's really cool. So then we have our little feet pieces, so on this one, put it on the side. So when we were doing this also, um, you know, you might have a little bit extra on the sides and you can just use your tool that they gave us right here and make sure that we get some of that off so that we can put on our stickers so they're nice and flat.
right, so that is all the stickers. So let's place her tail back on. And the hair. And here is our little horse, and she just looks super, super awesome. Alright, so our light is now green, so I'm going to press down the handle. And you can see the pink coming out. Now, for some reason, it's not filling the head section, so I may have to retry that one piece. Alright, so let's move it over. Alright, so our light has actually now turned red, so I'm going to wait until it turns green. Um, I think it needs to melt a little bit more, and then we will come back and do the other two legs. Alright, so I'm about to try and press out some more wax. So let's go ahead and see if it works. Alright, so you can see it's kind of made a little bit of a mess. But let's go ahead and let it heat back up because the light is red again. So I think that was part of the problem that I was having is that whenever I would um, go to do the next one, it actually has to heat up about every time you turn it. So we gotta let it heat up again. The light will turn green and we will turn it and do another side. Alright, so once again the light is green so let's go ahead and fill this spot. Okay, now the light is still green, so let's go ahead and turn it and do it again. Okay, alright, so it is cooled off, so let's go ahead and open it up. And here it is. Let's unscrew the back, pop open the tabs off these little pieces right here and open it so we have this piece here Let's see if we can get this one out so this is gonna be the head piece it's actually got some like little pink stripes from some of the pink that was in there which looks really cool because this is gonna be our zebra and here is the head and then we have a leg right here that didn't go all the way through but that's okay because we still have these little backup legs so here is the chest piece here is another leg here's the leg and another leg. So let's go ahead and clean them up. So to clean up our pieces we're going to use the 3D it tool and on this side we have like a little knife and these other pieces here and here are really cool. If you have a piece like this is stuck in there we can use this small piece and then just push it through and we got that piece out. And then we also have this piece here, which if we take this part out, okay, like that, this piece is still stuck in here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to press like that and it pops that piece out. So this tool is really cool. We have the cutting part here to clean up our pieces and these two to kind of clean out our little molds. So that's really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning these up and we'll be right back. So here are all the pieces for the zebra. So let's go ahead and put the stickers on.
Now that we have the stickers on, let's go ahead and put our pieces together. Alright, so here is what our zebra looks like. I think this zebra looks really cool. Alright you guys, so this was all I was able to do. So I'm going to talk to you guys about it for a little bit. Um, one of the things about the 3D at Animal Creator is that the, when the light is green, it means that it's melted. Now when you start, if you start on one side and you start pressing it down and it fills it up and it looks really good and you turn it and you go to fill it up again. Um, and then it only does part of the way now because it hasn't actually melted. So even though the light was still green, it actually hadn't melted all the way down again after you squeezed out the wax that was already melted. So when you turn the handle, I would wait just a few minutes, even if it says it's green, even if it says it's melted, I would give it a few minutes before pressing it again. Um, because once you start to press it, that wax is going to harden really fast and you're not going to be able to squeeze any more into it. So you got to make sure that it's all melted and do it in one push. So as you can see here, I was only able to do the zebra and this pony right here. Now, I started the elephant. I was able to do two of his legs with the blue. Um, I'm completely out of blue because it got so mixed up with the black that it just turned to gray. So you can see the gray I used right here. Um, kind of to just show you, I left it on there. It did not fill the mold. This is as far as it got. Didn't fill it. So that's what it looks like when it doesn't fill it. So here is the cow. Now the cow, I was able to do three of the legs. This leg is partly broken off. These are the other two legs. So those ones look pretty good. Um, as you can see, the pink is mixed in with the blue, but it's not too bad. But when you use the black, so when I did my zebra, I really couldn't do the rest of them in their colors anymore. Even though I had saved little bits of pink and saved little bits of blue, because I had already used the black, it mixed it so much that it turned to gray. So all I was getting out was gray anyway, so I decided to stop because it was just going to be a gray mess for the rest of the animal, um, for, the, for the elephant and for the cow. So if you have these little pieces when you're opening up the mold and you've got these little pieces, especially these ones right here, which um, you, you always end up with these kinds of little pieces, and you push it out or say it doesn't fill all the way. You can see this is part of a leg. It didn't fill all the way, so I pulled it off. So if you want to re-melt these, you can, in fact, re-melt them, but they aren't in stick form, so that makes it super, super hard. So what I ended up doing, even though it didn't work great, it did work a little bit. So what I did, and mainly I did this for a lot of these extra pieces, was I would take these little bitty pieces like this, I would take a piece of paper, roll it up, kind of make it into like a little paper funnel, you can see, and I'd stick it down in there, and then I'd take my piece, I'd drop it through here, and that way it went straight down into the 3D molder. Um, the reason you have to use the paper is because if you push it, just this little crumb down there, it's going to get like all inside of there and it'll be rattling around. It's terrible. Uh, I have a whole bunch of pieces that I shake and shake and shake and I couldn't get them all out and this whole thing is just rattling because of these little plastic pieces that are stuck in there. Um, the other thing that um, I don't like about this set is when you go and I learned this when I tried to make my elephant the very first time. I started my elephant and I started going and then it stopped. And I was like, okay, it stopped. It's like it won't let me push out the rest of the blue. So I put it in a pink. So when I put it in the pink, it started flowing again. So it seems like it needs kind of like a little plunger or something. So what I did was I took a pencil and I wrapped it in some plastic wrap. That way it wouldn't really stick to my pencil. But I guess if you don't care about your pencil, I don't really care about my pencil, but um, you don't need the plastic wrap. But anything that you can kind of stick down in there to push the wax down and push 
while you push the handle down. Um, that is basically the only way I was able to make the zebra right here. So that worked, but in the end, I ended up with just a bunch of gray, yucky little crumbs, and I gave up. So you can buy extra wax pieces. I I really don't want to have to go buy more wax pieces, so I'm probably going to end up returning this. It did not work well at all. So we have these little accessories here. We have this little game controller. That's cute. We've got this little stereo, which is also very cute. And then we have like a little vacuum. So one of the pieces I wanted to show you is this one right here. Um, unlike these other pieces, these are all stationary pieces, like little play toys and things like that. But this one right here is actually like a little scarf. So say we want to put this little scarf on our zebra. We would pull off the head like that. Take this piece and place it like this. Just like that. I'm going to put the zebra head back on, and hair, and then you can see he's now wearing like a little scarf, which is a really cool accessory piece. I wish that these weren't really the stationary pieces and that they all came with like little clothing pieces. I think that would have been really cool. So what did you guys think of the 3D Animal Creator? Have you tried it? Um, by the time I started to get really sad because I couldn't get any more wax to come out. Um, I started looking it up. I looked at the reviews on Toys R Us, which is where I got it, and it had so many one-star reviews, which if you don't know, that means it was really, really bad. Um, people did not like it. They were having the same problems as me. They couldn't make any of the animals. So I am going to give this another try. I'm going to try the 3D It um, like the people creator one i forget what it's called i'm gonna try that in the future and i know that they have like a teenage mutant ninja turtles expansion pack i'm gonna try that um but the animal creator which makes the animal skeletons did not turn out very well i wouldn't buy this i think that they need to make like a plunger or something for this um really other than that i think it just would have worked a lot better if there was something that could keep the wax going down but since it didn't, we ended up with this just big mess. So if you guys liked this video, and even if you didn't like the toy, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more 3D It videos. Come back tomorrow for a new video, and if you liked the video you just saw, don't forget to check out our other videos. Find us on Facebook and other social media, and as always, thanks for watching.